question number 54. The object shown below is rotated by 180 degrees about the x-axis in anti-clockwise direction. Anti-clockwise is this way. So it moves like this. As seen from the top. Okay, so we need the top view. Identify the trail left by the orange blobs when seen from the top. Okay, so since it moves to this axis, we'll just draw the imaginary line. This moves here, then this moves here, this moves here. This would make a proper circle. This one circle, this has a circle, circle, circle. One delimit here. Now here, there's going to be half a circle because there's nothing corresponding to us here. See? There's going to be half a circle next. B has it, A does not have it. C and D have it. Which moves this way, so it'll be on top. It's there on top. Okay. Now this part, there's going to be one complete circle up close. So it's all of them. Now we'll actually try looking for differences in the three. So differences the outer one. And the outermost one, first we'll draw these lines. Okay. There's one here. This one here, this here, this here, there's a gap. So this one uh, remains alone and it, since it turns anticlockwise, it goes from here. So the single line should be at the bottom. Bottom B is correct, D is correct, C is not correct. Now I should look for differences between B and D. Now for D here, these three should not be close because one, two, three, these three are very close. See here, and this one is a little further apart. See the gap here, and see the gap here. See a gap here, see the gap between these three. So three lines up close and one far. Three lines up close, one far. The this one is the opposite way. So this line should be here. B is correct. D is wrong. B is the final. Answer.